Okay, so last episode we got the that front corner of the car finished, did all the bushes, put it back on the ground, turned the car around. So this episode we are ready to do all the same again. Welding, bushes, suspension, brake lines, all that kind of stuff. Not sure how much we'll get done this episode, but that's what we're working towards. And then that will be all the mechanical stuff on the car done. And we'll almost be finished. So enjoy. So you've heard of Ed China, unlike the less good version, but Chris China. All right, then let's get some work done on this front corner of the car. I don't even remember if I need to undo that part, but everything gets a spray. <laughs> The ball joint on this side went completely the opposite direction to previously. I undid the nut holding it on and it just fell off. So nice and easy that. Just trying to cruise through this side, get it done real quick. I know what I'm doing, it should all be nice and easy. All the bolts came out smooth, but the the, uh, the alignment bolt holding this, holding the uh, lower wishbone in, is like seized to the, the sleeve inside the bushing, so I I can't get it to push out. I was trying to twist it around with this spanner, but now somehow the spanner is sort of wedged underneath. I don't know, it's like wedged somehow between the bolt and the, the body of the car, so that won't come off. It's going really, really great. Well, that was easy. But I think it's fair to say that this brushing probably needs, or well, needed changing anyway. Uh, that was just a lot of hammering. What did we have? We had some hammering. We had a few spanners. We were doing all sorts there. But this is out, so we're ready to stick the bushings in this, pop it back in and then all the rest. There we go, in no time at all, all the bushings are out of the lower wishbone. Now, I would like to address a point from the last episode. Fitting these bushings, why didn't I think of the, uh, the bushing removal slash press tool kit first? And that is because, look how easy it normally is to fit poly bushes. Right, we'll line this one up, push it in, that's done. Line this one up, Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. Anyway. So there we go. Push it in. Done. There we go. In. Now so, in short, that is why I didn't think of the bushing press tool as quickly as I did because Usually these are so easy to fit, you don't need any kind of tool. Let's see how easy it is to fit this when you've done it once before and know that this is the right tool to use. Still not that easy, apparently. <laughs> We'll, we'll restart this because no one will ever know that this happened. I wouldn't say it's super easy. Oh, it's so easy. Come on. Come on. Just need a small change of, of tactics. This has really taken the shine off me showing how easy this is going to be but 
Oh no! <laughs> okay, that was the that was just the open jar of water that I keep on the workbench. Who could have predicted that that would ever lead to any kind of incident? Get these threads to move a bit easier. Avoid the uh, the puddle of water on the floor. The masterclass continues. This is how it's done. Come on, boys. This is the time. This is the one. I can feel it. Don't make me pipe you to the workbench. If only the vice didn't move around so much. It's just, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sure this was easier last time. So easy. That's just the thing I can't believe about this. It's, it's just so easy. I'm just, I'm not even really. I don't think it's going to be rewarding when I get it in because I haven't worked for it enough. Very interesting. It appears to be completely impossible. I want to poke it with something, but I don't want to damage it. The hammer is the usual tool for that kind of a job. Really. Move my jar of water. It's fascinating, really, that it can squash this much. You'd think that that would be not possible. But you would be wrong. This doesn't make sense. It, it, this worked last time. I was ready for an easy win here. But I've been lied to. So we've seen this before, but all we need to do now is take all of these pieces and make one nice shiny coil lever to go back on the front. So I won't waste too much time with that. Okay, that's now done. That coil lever is all built up. Uh, we'll move on to the next thing, which is going to be to put the nice new brake line on that caliper. Easy as that, we are done. What have you missed? Quite a lot. I didn't really film anything. Sorry about that. So, number one, I've got some new gloves because the old ones were filthy and these ones are like warm, wintry type ones. So that's that's important point number one. Point number two, I've put on the lower wishbone and the new sus the suspension strut. Also got in the bushings on the upper wishbone. So that is the last last of the poly bushing. The car is now completely poly bushed everywhere which is nice um, it was a bit of a pain but we got them in what else has happened the brakes are back on braided lines are on I still need to make I'm gonna make something that's gonna like hold this cable up here because there's already a, a fixture for it you probably can't really see but we'll sort that out but that's mechanically everything here now done and ready Okay, that is going to be it for this episode. We didn't get that much done. I'm aware of that. It's also quite dark in here. You can't see anything. All of the mechanically type things done on that front corner. We need to do the, the rust underneath uh, the inner arches. I would like to do undercoating around the front, kind of clean all that up. But then that will be everything essential done on the car. We still have some stuff inside to figure out with the seat mounts and the harnesses, how those are going to bolt in and at the back the wheel arches where we repaired or cleaned them up uh, i need to think about what i want to do there i've been throwing around the idea of trying to do some vinyl wrap on it but that's definitely not a finalized idea let me just have that in my head for a while before we do it or just do a, a livery i'm a fan of a racing stripe insert a picture of the best skoda octavia to ever exist so we'll see that's just a an idea that i have Plans change a lot with this car, so we will see. So with all that being said, that's the end of the episode. Progress has obviously slowed down on this quite a lot. It's winter now. It gets dark early and it's cold and it's rainy, as opposed to the summer where it's just rainy. I'm not pushing that hard to get this done because I'm not that keen to go and drive it on some salty roads having just repaired all of the rust. So I'm just taking my time 
and maybe some, well, sometime in the new year, we'll get it back on the road, back on track. But I'm in no rush. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode, whenever that is, and whatever we're doing. There are the fish. But I've got some different wildlife for you to enjoy all the way from a river in a park somewhere in Shanghai. So I'll see you next time.